Greetings fellow Insomniacs and welcome back to Insomniac Gaming Theater. I am your host, The Crazy Player, <coughs> and I do apologize for the, uh, the short intro and kind of having a weird impromptu sort of day. Um, I was supposed to stream Dark Souls 3 last night with my buddy Sunrun, but I was just not feeling very well. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I'm not feeling so great right now. But I'm awake, and I got some catch-up to do, so I'm going to do that. We're going to be doing the Irithyll Dungeons in Dark Souls 3, and maybe a couple of other things, depending on how much time we have. Um, we're also probably going to get down into the Profane Capital, but we're not going to be doing the boss there, because I specifically requested that my buddy... Uh, Sunrun leave Yorm until I could join him and he did so we're going to stop before the Yorm boss fight but that's where we're heading to so I'm going to go ahead and bring you all into the game Now, I'm also going to be doing something that I didn't, that I don't normally do, but I'm just not in the mood for dealing with, I'm not really in the mood for dealing with PvP today, so I'm going to be playing in offline mode for now, um, because I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with PvP. I just don't. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I just don't feel like it. So we're going to be playing offline for the moment. So we'll go ahead and continue. Alright. So here, spell speed. Um... Just trying to look over some things, figure out how we're going to do all of this. Mm. All right, so we're currently level 66. Our intelligence is as high as we as we're going to raise it. Um, Next, we're going to raise our, our attunement up to 25 at least. And then we're going to start raising our faith. And at some point, I'm going to need to raise my vigor and endurance. So many things to balance. Um, but as a pyromancer, you want to have uh, intelligence 40 and strength at 40. Because those will... Those are your casting skills. So, we're going to go ahead and get moving. We're not going to the Abyss Watchers, we are going to Distant Manor. So this is the way down to the Earth Hill Dungeons, and because we are embered, if I am not mistaken, we're going to end up with, we're going to end up being invaded. Oh, that's right, I forgot about this part. I always forget about this part. So, these two idiots down here are actually trying to lure us into a trap because there is one of those uh, pontiff guardian ladies over there. And then over in the corner over there, there's a uh, fire witch. And there's some stuff down here. So we're going to very, very quickly swap this out for the cat ring. So that we can not take falling damage. 
And then when we drop down here, there are a couple of guys down beneath there. I should put some of this stuff away. Like, I'm never going to use this ring. It's just not something that's going to work for this build. Titanite shards, which reminds me, we got some weapons we're going to need to upgrade. So we're going to have to go farm some Titanite or farm some souls to buy Titanite stuff. Alright, so we're going to do this. Wishes gloves. That's neato. All right. You might get the impression I've been through this area a few times. You would be correct. Alright, and as I recall, there is an NPC invader who should be coming in. Well, I got the weapon. Now I got to go do all of that all over again. Oh, that's annoying. Oh my god. Ah. All right, screw it. We're gonna we're gonna rush past. So we're gonna put on the ring that prevents falling damage, and we're just gonna run past these guys. We died right next to the next bonfire. Hey, look, our souls. Welcome to your filled dungeons. Good luck. Actually, this place isn't that bad, but it's a bit convoluted. So this is our introduction to Screaming Corp. That may not seem like a big deal, but the thing is, enemies will respond to that noise. And there are definitely places where you do not want them responding to that noise.
plus six, so we need chunks. That's fine. Now, very simple rule. If there isn't something in the cage that you want, don't open it. One of my, one of the house cats has come to say hello. Alright. These chicks are the worst because they can lower your health just by looking at you. So, you see that? Gee, that looks like that might be bait. I wonder why. So this guy's beating his head, and there's nothing in there that we want. Now there's a lot of stuff down and around here. Oh, also, if you bump into these chains, these chains hanging from the ceiling, it can alert people to your presence. So if you want to try and be quiet, keep an eye out for that. Ah. Mm. You know what? I need to start playing more like a pyromancer. something I need to do. Whew. That's nice. I have a use for simple gems. They're simply fantastic. Oh, right. I forgot about these guys. Fortunately, these, these uh, jailers have no poise. So you can stun lock them pretty fast, pretty hard if you uh, have a fast weapon. Yeah, those chicks suck. They can kill. They can reduce your health to almost nothing just by looking at you. I recall. So, there's a key we can find that lets us open that door. I'm trying to remember where it is. 
also be aware of these places because you see those things those are all enemies all of them still on the whole this one isn't too bad so we'll That didn't. That wasn't too bad, but it didn't work as well as I'd like. That works much better. When in doubt, light them up. Now, this place is locked. You get the key way later, which is annoying. But it is what it is. I recall, oh, hello, oh dear, I forgot about that, that means I gotta put my torch back on, never take it out of the inventory, but yeah, I gotta put it back on. Also, those guys are very vulnerable to fire, which means that I need to keep an eye out and use my, uh, my fire sword buff. None of these guys are. Sorcerer stuff. Nothing there. Nothing in there. Except for this thing. God, he had that. Okay. Fortunately, we were able to kill him without opening the door, which is nice. So I'm going to put this on for the moment to regen some HP. Then... Okay. Looks like we got to go back up. Also, all right, we got to go across. I don't think this one opens. Yeah. So we gotta find a way to get down. Alright, so that way doesn't work because. This is all, this is where we just were. All right, Brian. Now 
there's got to be a way. Unless... Ah, there it is. Alright, that's what that is. That's how it works. So, this guy is creepy, but not hostile. We'll run into others like him who are, but we're just going to leave him alone because dude's just, yeah. He can't help that he's creepy. He's just born that way. Always anticipate trouble. Jailbreaker's key. There we go. That's what it was I was looking for. Alright. Now that we're over here, we can go down there. But there are some bad dudes down there. Way back up is right here, but there are several of those jailers, and they are no fun at all. So we're going to go the other way. Because this... This is the door that the Jailbreaker's key opens. Also, as I recall, there's an item up here that a lot of people miss because they jump down too quick. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring, which makes sorceries much more potent. Now, that's where we're going to go eventually, but unfortunately that is not a safe drop. <coughs> mm. Tight night scale, nice. See what I just said? See what I meant about... These guys, eventually you run into hostile versions. Yeah, these guys suck. They hit hard, too. Fortunately, I have a lot of... Okay. I have a pretty fair amount of... Estus, so I'm not super worried about it. Okay. So, as near as I can tell, there's nothing in that cage that I want. I don't recall him dropping anything, so we're just going to leave him alone. He's cranky. <coughs> Alright, so, spoiler alert. This is the first of many chests that we will run into in this dungeon. Most of them, like this one, are mimics. But if you throw an undead hunter charm at a mimic, and then wait a minute or two, and then wait a few moments, they'll cough up the item that they had, in this case an Estus shard. And then they'll go back to sleep. Oh. Also. I forgot about that. Let me do this real quick. Thank you. 
I forgot I had this. The storyteller staff releases poison that is considerably stronger than most of the other poisons in this game. It's actually why I went and farmed one, because having all of that extra poison damage is a big... Having that extra poison damage can be a big deal in a couple of big, important fights. Also, if you listen carefully, you can hear loud breathing in the background. It's because there's a giant around here. We're going to go deal with him a little bit later. That's really true and through its health. Will it kill it in one go is the question. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh, I don't feel like dealing with So I'm just going to let the uh, the poison do the bidding for me. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. There are, there are a number of mimics down here. Alright. Wish I had a better way of recovering. My, uh, a more passive way of recovering my f my MP. Technically, it's focus. I think I have no points. Don't overcommit to your swings like that, guys. Crossbow guys are the worst. Mostly because their crossbow claw is bleeding. Fortunately, if you take your time and you do it slow. So this is the this is the way we actually want to go, but I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't 100% remember what's down this ladder. So I'm gonna go check real quick. And does this door open from this side or no? It does. Okay. That's good. Then in that case, we're not going to drop down. We're going to go this way. Oh, we are going to have to drop down because we need to be up there. Okay. Now, there is a crystal lizard and some items under the, the giant sleeping arms. Let me tell you, if you wake that guy up at this level, he will turn you into a thin paste. So we're just not going to deal with that. We're going to go up here. We're going to put on the cat ring. May as well put this on for the moment. And then 
drop down. And I'm going to pause here for a moment to wait for my health to regenerate because... So, bunch of things, okay? So, you can kind of see down there some things to come, but also down here, down there. Actually, can I make that drop? I think I can. As I recall, getting back up here is a little... Eh, it's not that hard. Um... Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Actually, I think I am going to do that because I got the cat ring on, so I'm not going to die. Assuming I don't get killed by freaking rats. Alright, so. Take this elevator. Leave the rats behind. I actually don't think they can come through that hallway. This particular section of Dark Souls 3 is really interesting because it's very interconnected. Because, see, we're back at the bonfire where we started. So, I'm going to put the Sage's Ring back on. We're going to rest at this bonfire, and then we're going to go back to Firelink. Because I have an Estus Shard and a buttload of souls. And I need to see about upgrading my uh, Pyromancy Flame that I've got a bunch of large Titanite. Reinforce Estus Flask. Check that. A lot Estus. Because I got nine of those now. I'm actually going to put it like this. Be careful. Because I need more, more spell uh, juice. <laughs> yeah, he can't use that. Reinforce. Uh, I need two more po large titanite shards. Okay. I bought pretty much everything else except for Carthus Beacon uh, and Acidic Surge. At least for the moment. There's another pyromancy tome I can give him. I have Umbral Ash? Oh. Yeah. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. And awfully warm at that. Almost as if it had lived mere moments ago. Oh, forgive an old woman's idle prate. I'm sure an ashen one such as thee would never indulge such base contrivances. <laughs> all, right, all right, so we've got... Anything new or interesting here? Ooh, three Titanite scales. That's important. Uh, titanite shards, which is good for when we want to upgrade some stuff. Ah, Lothric Knight Sword. That's not too shabby. Well, Lothric Knight Great Sword. This is a weapon I've always wanted to make into something, but have never quite managed to get around to. It's a very serious, it's a very good weapon, from what I can tell. Priest Chime. Void Shield Ring. Yeah, Ashen we'll, One. We'll Be sure to bring. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, speak. Very well. Then touch the dark pig, nourish me. Oh, you're kidding me. 
I need another basically 5,000 souls. Okay, we'll go sell some stuff. Because, oh hey look, we've got souls that are worth about 5,000. So, let's go sell one. Ashen one. Welcome, hot speak. Very well, then touch the pig now. Alright, we'll do this. Farewell, Ashen One. All right, Aldrich. Yeah, well, there are only a few super big bosses. I don't think I. Oh yeah, I need to do that too. Um, this stuff can all stay here because it only matters when we come to. That in the box, though. Put that in the box. Old sorcerer's hat. I don't think we're, I don't know that we're ever going to put the life ring back on. So that's going to go back in the box. The Estus ring, I should really put that on if I know that I'm going to be, if I'm not in the middle of combat and I know I'm going to be healing up because that will drastically increase the amount of healing I get. Um, flamestone plate ring, we're going to need. Poison bright, I'm not concerned about. Blood bite I'm not concerned about. Deep ring, we're we are already gonna have plenty of attunement. The young dragon crest and bellowing dragon crest we're gonna make use of later. Um I don't know that we're ever gonna actually make use of the the miracles rings. But we'll see. Um I don't think I'm going to have the time to remember to put this on before I cast stuff. Uh, no. Farron ring, no. Fire clutch ring, eh. No. Karthus milk ring. Karthus blood ring. Pontus right eye ring. Aldrich Sapphire. Uh, I am not sneaky enough to take advantage of that. Though I suppose I could be, but I'm just not. Um, I don't run around. I, I, yeah. Alright. So that's a much, much better inventory. Oh, we could probably go sell those. Especially since we don't care about PvP. Right. Travel, Irithyll Dungeons. Alright, so we're going to go back down this way. And in case it matters, this is the lever to bring the elevator back up in case it's down. Now, there are some items out here, and I'm going to grab that one as we run by real quick. But I am not going to stick around here and fight the rats. A, because there is an unending supply of them. And B, I don't feel like fighting 
the giant right now. Spoiler alert, it's another mimic. There we go. It ain't the fastest way to kill mimics, but it's absolutely the safest. So, fellow insomniacs, how is your day going? I gotta admit, I was the the weather out here specifically the allergies are just really kicking my butt right now all right look at that Seriously racking up the, the damage there. Okay, probably not worth it, but mostly because we're not uh, strong enough. We don't have a high enough strength on this build to make that worthwhile. going to put the cat ring on just in case we miss this jump I am a little bit curious. Yeah, it doesn't look like that works on him. Which I'm fine with. It was kind of a silly idea anyway. There is a ladder right here, but I'm just going to hop down because I'm still wearing the cat ring. casting speed ring back on. so annoying. I should have just fireballed their ass. Alright. Back we go. Let's pull the lever. Oh, 
Because I'm pretty sure even with the, the cat ring, this fall is fatal. Oh, yeah. Now that I really look at it, yeah, that fall would be fatal. I really don't like the fact that it makes you come to a complete stop every time you hit it. If you grab an item. Alright, so back we go. And thankfully, no, the rats can't climb ladders. That is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Come on. Alright. Drink. Screw y'all. Alright. speed ring back on now ultimately we're going to want to go through there but there are a couple of items up there we want to go get and when we go get them there are going to be a bunch of bad guys who fall down that hole if you listen carefully you can hear them but sadly there's no way to trigger them until you deal with this stuff. Now, I'm not sure if poisoning this guy will trigger them or not. Doesn't look like it. Oh, by the way, this one, not a mimic. That one, totally a mimic. Sorry, it just since we know that it's going to take two of the the poison burst to kill that, I'm keeping an eye out for trouble from that way. remember correctly, the item that's in there isn't even that important, but... I still, you know, I still wanna. Now the other thing is we can't po we can't poison it a second time until the first time wears off. Right, we can put the shield back on. But I'm not that worried about it because I'm more concerned about the enemies that are going to be coming from that way. Yeah, dark clutch ring. Okay, so apparently it's this one that triggers them. Which makes sense because it's the more important item.
unfortunately these guys can't do any physical damage so the big problem is you just got to stay out of the smog long enough oh crap there's one more hello That wasn't so bad. All right, now for the next set of problems. Is that guy still stomping around out there? Okay. Apparently, because I wasn't there to watch him go to sleep, he didn't actually go to sleep until I came back to watch him go to sleep. All right, so there are a couple of giant rats in here. They're very annoying and moderately dangerous. But it's really with past the giant rats is the problem. So this room is the most dangerous room in the whole freaking dungeon because there are there is a huge procession of jailers over here and they're staggered although honestly fighting them all at once would be all would be borderline suicidal and there are several items over the course of this area that we want to get, but we want to, we're going to wait until there's a nice gap in their aware and their grouping. And then we're going to go open a secret. We're going to open a pathway that will get us back down here much more easily. Okay. Once these two pass, we'll be ready to go running over, and do a couple of things. They're not facing us. We're not wearing a lot of armor. We're going to grab the Titanite chunk. And then we're going to come back into this room. I should put this on. Now, much, much later, we will get access to that area from here. But it requires an, a gesture we're not going to get until much later. So, you may recognize this. This is basically back across at the top floor. So, yeah, we have a way back here. And then right here, there is the Lightning Blade Miracle. Which, admittedly, I'm never going to use, but is a cool... Is a cool miracle. Alright, so... We can actually take off that torch now. good. The problem is there are enemies in this area that make noise and there are mean and powerful and nasty and we, we don't want any of them. But we're going to have to go through there. Okay. 
Oh. You know what? We're just gonna... So I'm gonna put this on. As I recall, this is the one that's the biggest problem. Nope, I'm wrong. It's that one. Cool. When you're ready for them, now here's the other problem. Okay, good. For some reason, I thought that corpse made noise when you took the item off of it. Because trust me on this, the last thing we want is to get the attention of these chicks. Hey, look, it's another mimic. Actually, I wonder. Since the mist goes through walls. I wonder if it can affect them on the other side of the wall. There we go. While we wait for it to take damage, we'll slowly regenerate our health. What can I tell you? It's not the most exciting thing, but I'm not going to get into a fight with the with a mimic whilst there's a bunch of jailers out there. It's just mm -mm. it's not a winning proposition. Two Chinese skins. That's nice. Now I am curious. If I do this. Okay, so they noticed the cloud, but. They don't immediately come running over here. So in theory, I can stand behind this wall, drink my... Drink my Ash and Estus and slowly kill the whole lot of them. That's 
Very interesting. Because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to fight those chicks if I don't have to. Will one gassing that be enough to kill them both is the other question. Or like the mimics, will it come up just short? Looks like it'll get them. I'll have to keep that in mind. Wonder if they're all stopped and gathered around the corpses of their. Uh... Okay, that's too far. We can actually see through this hole. If we can see them at the right moment, we can gas them, poison them, and not even have to fight them at all, which would be quite nice, actually. Do I see lantern light? a whole bunch of them. I think that may be all of uh, the ones for the, the marching bunch over here. In which case, we can move around through here once they're dead. There's one other one, but other than that, we may be able to move around here through here with impunity. And if not completely unhindered, then with considerably less trouble. <laughs> you know, this also wouldn't be a terrible if kind of slow XP farm. hear them walking around anymore. Now I know for a fact that there is one more jailer down here. 
she's right over there. Oh, maybe. Actually, now that I think about it. Do, do, do. If I can stop playing juggling, there we go. We should just be able to... Because it goes right through the wall. And yep. She's already dead. Now we just gotta wait. This may be the easiest way through... The easiest time through this area I've ever done. Because I actually took the time to stop and think about... How do I want to deal with these these enemies? Yep, she's already dead. Now, if I remember correctly, aside from the fact that there's a corpse in here that will shriek when we take the item off of it, um, which would summon all of the jailers if they were still alive, I think this this room also starts sprouting bad guys. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, the Xanthus ashes are a big deal. Don't, don't open this. As I recall, there's nothing in here that's important. Although, interestingly, a note, that guy, that grumpy lycanthrope guy, if you lead him out here to the these chicks, he'll fight them. He'll still fight you, but he'll also fight them. He does damage to them. He does not like them at all. Yeah, it's locked. All right. And that is officially the exit, well, an exit for Illyrithil Dungeons. Alas, we're going to be going back through there. That, that area is the area that is most like Dark Souls 1 in that there is a lot of interconnectedness. All right. If you look over there... You can see that there's a gargoyle just waiting to come and drop on us and cause us all kinds of problems. So we're going to go run across the bridge. We are going to jump past this guy. Sometimes he'll be dumb and fall off, but in this particular case, he wasn't. Come up here. And we get an undead bone shard and an emote from this corpse, who apparently this guy is somebody from Dark Souls 2, surrounded by ladders. We'll light this fire. Trying to think through. I think we are. I don't think. I think we're not going to rest right now. Not just yet. So, there are a couple of different ways out of this section. This is one of them, as I recall. 
I don't think there's actually anything down here. Nope, just a fatal drop. And no matter what people online try and tell you, no, you can't make that jump. Now, there's going to be another gargoyle who's going to appear. And frankly, I don't have time for either of the... So... They can buzz off. Now... There are holes in the floor. Ah, uh, come here. There we go. I have to be real careful not to fall into them because down there is a toxic area. And I don't mean that as a metaphor, I mean Walking through that area inflicts the toxic condition on you. See? Holes. Alright. Yet another... Now this is a continuation of that same toxic area, except that there are enemies down there. Actually, there are enemies over there, too, that can kill you. But that's not the conversation we're having just now. Okay. Now, admittedly, they're not particularly vulnerable to fire. I just didn't feel like dealing with more than one of them simultaneously. So you can go around the side there, and there is um, an area in there, but you don't want to go in there if you don't have to. I don't remember what's in... I don't remember what's on that corpse. All right, fine. Oh, purging stone, which removes the uh, rever removes curse buildup. We're not dealing with curse right now. All right. So the next big thing is, well, first of all, there is that. And we are not futzing with that yet just now. That's going to be for later. But there is also... There is a one-time enemy up here. You can just barely see the tip of his weapon up there. Dude hits like a freight train.
Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Alright. Alright. So we got Logan's scroll, which is a big deal. Gives us a bunch of new spells. Oh man, this is going to be tight. Okay. So, normally, the last phase of a particular quest line would lead here, but unfortunately, we had a freak accident earlier on in the game, and the person who's supposed to be in this cell isn't. So, that's the feel bads. Alright, we are not going down into that room yet because there's a lot of stuff in there we don't want to deal with. I'm actually going to... So nothing here is going to attack me. So I'm actually going to... put us on the uh, BRB screen. And... chill out for a couple of minutes whilst I wait for my health to regenerate because I am out of... Oh, wait, actually. No, scratch that. We have embers. We're not embers, so we're going to use the ember to get a full heal. Because we are almost to the point where we can bone out of here and go turn in a bunch of stuff. But, right here... There are two of these chicks. Oh, fuck. No. Screw you. Ah, no. Damn it. Locked on already. Embered now, so we can't ember again. Uh, so this is down, this leads down into the area around the giant. Nah, I'm not risking it. As much as I want to go get Carla, I'm not risking it. So we're going to go do this instead. We're going to bone out. Hey, son. How you doing? Oh. All right. So we're going to do a thing I've wanted to do. I've been waiting to do for a while now. Just we're going to give... Faint coal. Where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. 
I see the abyss in it. Yet, the smith I remain. I won't turn down your request. Your fight did a curse. Alright, so now. So, you went and you got new glasses. You mentioned that on, on Discord earlier. Hopefully, you can see better now. Although, I do know when you uh, first put on new glasses, there's always that time period where everything is like, oh, my head, why? Alright, so we're going to infuse. A, uh, a Lothric Knight Sword with not deep, but dark. And what that does is it gives it it gives it dark damage and it gives it faith and intelligence scaling. Dark is one of the two pyromancy abilities. Um, the other one being um, not fire, but chaos. So, I will now have a weapon that scales with my, with my pyromancy abilities instead of my uh, physical abilities, which is nice. So, we're going to do this, and then we're going to reinforce the weapon, and I need to go buy be careful. I don't want to 10... Titanite shards. I could go farm them, but I just don't have the time. Oh yeah, we have the umbral ashes. Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> All right. I wonder. I think that's also the one that gets us the the large titanite shards. For sale from her. Nope. Okay. So I need ten of them, which is going to be eight thousand souls. Yay! Oh, that's nice. Ashen one, beach. Ah, All right. Good. What need? So we're going to reinforce this, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another. All right. So we're going to reinforce this, and then. Pretty be careful. All right. I'm going to put this on here. And then we're going to go over here and check. Oh, yeah. Look at. Oh, hang on one second. I got a phone call I need to take. So.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I uh, I had to take my car in for some repairs earlier, and it that was the repair place calling me and letting me know. All right, so now we have. Oh, no. There we go. So now we have a longer, very fast weapon that deals dark damage. So I've been waiting for, for this for most of the... You know what? We're actually going to move this over here. Move this over here. All right. So I've been waiting for this setup for for most of the game because between this and then eventually the uh, the giant coal that we'll get from another location, I will have two different setups for my magical for weapons that are good for dealing with non. Oh, this is the uh, the Lothric Knight Straight Sword, but it's. I dark infused it, so as, as I was looking at a little bit earlier before I got that phone call. So as I was saying, so this is the raw broadsword that we were that I was using before, which is good because it can be buffed. But this is the stats for the the Lothric Knight straight sword with the dark infusion on it, and it's worth pointing out that this is only at plus five, whereas this is at plus six. So we're doing a lot more damage here. Than we were here. Than we were here. So almost a hundred more, and I still got. Oh yeah, and I still got room for more upgrades. So yeah, it's a big deal. Um, honestly, I also really want to go get that chaos coal. And depending on how some things shake out, um, I may I may go grab that. I want to say real quick, but truthfully, getting through that area is kind of a pain even offline because there's some very serious enemies but yeah th that coal was a big big upgrade in terms of my ability to oh, no. in terms of my ability to do dps and i'm just Yeah, that was one of the reasons why I was like, Irithel is definitely a place I want to go. Also, so there's a lot of good things in Irithel for me as a caster. I can also now give him oh the Logan my. scroll. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan, a masterful sorcerer, long missed in Vinheim. And now we have a scroll. Right here in my very hands. So, son, I missed most of your, uh... Yeah, but it's not nearly as useful for you because you're not a caster. You're like, here, have the scroll for completionist's sake. Um, so I missed most of your stream last night. I was around right at the... <laughs> I was around mostly at the tail end. Um, but did you go up to Anne Orlando or did you just go down into the dungeons? Mmm, homing soul mass. Nice. Um. Oh, and soul spear. Ooh, spicy. I'm gonna pick this one up. Actually, you know what? I'll pick them both up. They're, they're, they're eventually gonna be worth it. Promise to stay safe. Now I gotta go get Carla. I'm trying to think of how what's the best way to get to Carla. Yeah, no, we're probably best going back from the profane capital.
Okay, so past the gargoyle. Yeah, I'm not sticking around to fight you, buddy. All right. I just went into the dungeons. Kill everything once. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that area is a real pain. Ooh, there's timing. Okay, I need to move relatively carefully here. The slumbering giants aren't actually as hard as they seem if you know how to deal with them. The problem is not them. The problem is those idiots who come running up and attack you. All right. Yeah, the giants themselves aren't that big of a problem. It's the other idiots that are all in that area. Okay, so. The slow, careful, caster way to take care of these guys. Yeah, kinda. You, you can just get one of the... Oh, well, okay. So the other idiots, you gotta be real careful about. But yeah, the guys up top are a real pain. And it's just... There's, there's a lot of stuff in that area. And the big problem is that it would be hard for me to show you all of the stuff in that area because the, we'd have to be in online mode, and since that's a notorious PvP area. Uh. All right. I poison her. This ain't the fastest way to clear this room, but it's certainly the easiest. Here, have some poison. I got more than one of them. That's good. Because since they can't see me through the wall, they're like, well, we saw a thing and it alerted us. Yeah, I actually decided that I'm playing in offline mode right now just because... I really did not feel like dealing with PvP right now. I'm not feeling so hot just generally. And dealing with PvP? Uh, no. No. Just, no. Like, I cannot adequately express how much nope. Yeah, so I'm poisoning all of them with the Storyteller staff, which means they're all dead. They don't know it yet, but they're all dead. Oh, I fight dirty. <laughs> Actually, correction, I don't fight at all. I assassinate. I'm assassinating all of them. Right? Look, it's Dark Souls. There is no such thing as cheese. There's only victory or death. And I choose victory. Also, the Storyteller staff is a great way to take out Mimics. Look at this. Look at this pile. Isn't this glorious? And I didn't take a single hit. There's one on the other side of this wall. <laughs> I am a little 
little curious as to what all my uh, my fancy new sword will do, but I'm not curious enough to get into reckless fights with enemies that can kill my HP just by looking at me. Screw that noise. It ain't the most exciting gameplay to watch, but it's definitely the most efficient. There are actually a lot of places where I use dirty tactics, at least when I'm on my own. When I'm co-oping with somebody, usually the other person doesn't have the patience to sit around and watch numbers tick down. Which, fair enough. It's not exactly exciting. Alright, she's done. Oh, right, I forgot. We do have to go up that staircase. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, and she dropped something. Jailer's rope. Nice. Alright, so now we can get Carla. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So... What business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. You're here to save me. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Baby, you have no idea. Is that something you can forgive? Oh, yep. really? You are no ordinary man. Very well. Besides... I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. <laughs> yeah, well, the, I ground for the staff off stream. It's actually, so if you go to the halfway fortress in uh, Road of Sacrifices, and then head back towards uh, Undead Settlement. There's a number of Corvians right there. But if you do that right, if you do it right, you can basically run up the hill, kill the... kill the, uh, the storyteller that's right there, see if he drops anything, and if he doesn't, run back to the bonfire without having to fight any of the other Corvians. Yeah, it's great. All right, so we got Carla. Now the only problem is I think that stupid gargoyle is there. Oh yeah, I need to take off. Uh, I can't use this anymore because my uh, my weapon is infused. So, um, all right. Well, let's. See how this works or not. Uh, uh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I can't get past him. Fantastic. Well, since I'm back at the bonfire anyway, let me show you what I was talking about with that Corbian real quick. Okay, so. Just real quick. Um, halfway Fortress. Turn around. Go back up this way. Because this is how I farm to the Storyteller staff. 
come up here. And then if you juke around better than I did, because I'm a little rushed right now. You can come up here, kill this guy. And then run back down to the bonfire. They got just close enough to make me stand up. Yeah. You can just do that over and over again until you get the the staff you're looking for. Okay. Profane capital. There we go. So, that's how I farmed the... That's how I chose to farm the Storyteller staff, was to go fight those guys. Oh, yeah. Um, can I tune here? I can't. Okay, good. I need to take this off. And what am I going to put on instead? I want great combustion. I want my souls back. That's what I really want. Um, whoa, I got, I got to change my night bot because that was not <laughs> one second. Your messages were there. And the next second it was gone. Um, let's see here. Uh, is there a way I can undo that? Yeah. No, and in particular, when I'm not rushing, when I did it originally, because I was kind of rushing a little bit there, but when I did it originally, I, uh, I just juke, you know, waited half a second, juked around the guy, and in particular... Um, if you have the ring that makes it so that you're silent, which I do, you can just, you know, juke right past that guy. It's great. Um, let's see here. You know what? Um, I don't have a lot of good pyromancies right at the moment. Yeah, we'll do Black Serpent. Why not? Yeah, it's, it's really fast. You just go sit at the bonfire. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go get my souls back. at least did more damage. Oh yeah, my sword is so much more damage. I mean, to be fair, this sword also has higher base damage, but yeah, I I hit a lot harder. Alright, I'm going to go sit back at the bonfire.
and then I'm going to work my way down towards Yorm. I'm not actually going to go do Yorm, because as I promised, I, I want to do that with you tomorrow night, but there's some stuff down there I want to go get. Oh, also, now that I think about it, there's some stuff the other direction, too. Um, yeah, let's go get that stuff. Yeah, well... Oh, wow. Oh, I put on the wrong ring, that's why. Oops. Whatever. Yeah, you got some, uh... I'm gonna say mediocre advice. Because Onion Bro cannot take Yorm without, your, without the help of the player. Oh, for crying out loud, I really... I need to, to look up how to change some of my Nightbot settings because clearly that is not working right. I'm sorry about that, son. Dude... Dude, I do also need to go kill that giant. Um. There we go. You should be untimed out, son. My apologies. <laughs> yeah, I need to have a word with my, uh, with my night bot because. We, we do not need... Alright, we're, we're going to put this on. Because it's a little too aggressive in its... Uh... Nice! I one-shot that one. Alright. Well, I've had a couple of people where it was actually helpful to have them... I am not running out there. I am doing so much more damage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the raw broadsword is good when you need to... What the hell? Oh. I accidentally triggered her. Okay. The raw broadsword is good when you need to, to buff, or if you're going up against an enemy that's resistant to the magic damage type in question, but... Uh... This is... No, wait, I think those things are immune. Crap. I was trying to roll out. I, 
forgot that I don't have my cast speed ring on. Oh! Dang! I didn't think it could get out that hole. Well, this is a bad spot. Especially if it does that. Because not only is there toxic down here, but there are more of them down here. Crap! No! Fudge. I think I'm gonna get toxic. Oh no, good. Alright, up the ladder. Quick. Woo! That was... Oh, that was... That was real close. Oh, that was almost really bad. Okay. Well then. Court sorcerer stuff. Which I think is only there if you kill the, the guy. Yeah, that's... Let's see, was there anything in here? No. I remember correctly, yes. Okay, so. Here, have some poison. Absolutely the safest way. Yeah, the, those, those, I don't even know what they're called. Hands of Evil, Eyes of the Abyss, what, whatever. I, I know they have a name if you look them up on the wiki, but they're... I don't normally get freaked out by games, but that stuff... Mm -mm. So full of nope. All of the nope. Yeah, there are, yeah, there are a lot of people who get creeped out by stuff in the Dark Souls games. I don't generally, but I will tell you that dealing with those things is one of the mm -mm, It's on my to don't list. I have I don't own a PlayStation 4, so I've never played but Bloodborne. Um, although, I heard, yet again, the rumor that Bloodborne may be coming to PC, and if that is, in fact, the case, that will be delightful. Because I've always heard that Bloodborne is a great game, but... Obviously, I, don't, I never got the chance to play it because I don't have a PlayStation 4. I stopped buying consoles after the PlayStation 3. on here oh, also we're going to put the uh, anti-fall damage ring on yeah I bought a PlayStation 3 because it, it let me play video games it let me uh, watch blu-rays it just it did a lot of stuff so it was like six things in one wrath of the gods which sadly is not as good in this game as it is in some of the previous games, but that's okay. Um, but I will, I will say one of the things that I missed 
Uh, that does kind of make me sad about having not played or not bought a PlayStation 4 is I saw somebody play through uh, the, PlayStation, the, the new God of War for PlayStation 4, and man, that game looked like it was so good. Where is, is that big ugly sucker waiting someplace? It is. It's waiting at the bottom of the ladder. Ooh, how crazy am I feeling? Moderately. Uh, I think I can survive that fall. Let's find out. Banzai! <laughs> All right, let's be straight up. That was that was crazy. And once more onto the breach. And now you're dead. Ha. Yeah, that was... Use the terrain to your advantage. Okay. Yeah, there's an item down there. And there is Psycho Spider Chick. Yeah, yeah, I, I I feel more or less the same way. That game was so good from everything I've seen, and it's not going to come to PC, I don't think. Also, word is that when we get the PS5 announcement, we may also get the, uh, the announcement of the sequel to that game. Yeah, I watched, uh, I watched my buddy Christopher Odd, who actually has no idea who the hell I am, but that's fine. Um, I watched him play through God of War, and, oh man, the, the story in that game is so good. It really, you know, the prices of PlayStation 4 are, are, are about to take a plunge, so... Dang, I do, I do like how much damage this thing is doing, and it is not even close to being properly upgraded. Alright, give me my cast speed. Also, not that it matters right at the moment with these particular enemies, but this uh, this particular sword has bonus to backstab damage. 
I guess it's also technically uh, repost damage, but since I don't repost people. Alright, come here. I would like your attention, please. I mean, talk about a rude awakening. Can you imagine that, getting shot by an arrow? That would make you unhappy when you woke up. See if we can get any of the things beyond this room or beyond this door with the, the toxic gas. I don't think we can. Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest with you, there's not a whole lot of reason to go into this room. I don't really. It's mostly for completionist sake. Oh, yeah. So I'll show you what's in here. This is what's in here. I don't think these things can actually be poisoned anyway. But in any case, I'm not going to stick around to fight them. You know what? We're going to go up here. We're going to get out of reach. And then we're going to go into inventory. Okay. Because that stuff will kill me. But fortunately, I'm not hanging around. And I don't remember what that item is, but if I really want to find out, I'll come back when I'm at full power pyromancy and just, you know, burn them. Yeah, that room is full of, is really full of nope. Alright. Ah, no! Would you... What? <clears throat> Now that I'm not fussing around with all of the rest of that crap, I'm going to come back here, I'm going to kill those chicks, and then I'm going to... Alright. Put the cat ring back on. It never even occurred to me that you can get off, that you can get down from there without taking any damage by putting on the cat ring. Because I usually don't have it as part of my normal equipment. I usually have other things.
Yeah, those th they suck. I also, I really need to increase my vigor. You there. May I have your attention, please? Put the cast speed ring back on. Of course. Frell off, both of you. Right. Sip, sip. Dang it, I am, I'm doomed. All right, well. I'm going to get that giant. So if we're gonna go get the giant, we're gonna go do this. We're gonna go to the other fill dungeon. Because I have the other way unlocked. So, I'm going to go get that. Also, since we're not going to be doing any falling, at least we better not. Yeah. This game is big on the whole swarming thing, unfortunately. Alright, now, let's see. Like, literally, I was right here.
Alright, I know that there are an endless supply of rats here, but that's okay because I'm just here to get the loot and then get out. I don't think they can come past that doorway. Yeah, I really like the the uh, Lothric Knight Straight Sword is just a really sweet weapon for getting that kind of for just getting through all of that kind of stuff. All right, we're gonna go back to Firelink because I have a buttload of souls and I should really increase some of my stats. Also, eh, no. I need to go farm some large titanite. Welcome home, I shall speak thine heart. Very well. Then touch the dark cake nourishment. Ooh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a very important thing to keep in mind that the the Cathedral Knight Greatsword, you if you could one hand it, it has a nice big sweep. Very, very useful. Oh yes. That's right, Carla is here. Ah, oh, there you are. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. No. What shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort. That wouldn't interest you, would it? You bet it would. You're a wicked one, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Very well. Humans are the dark. And you are no different. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret, kept between you and I. Oh, a pyromancy tone, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes, well suited to me. <laughs> yeah. Very well. If this is your wish, I will unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. So dark py pyromancies and dark divine, dark divine tones. tones. What on earth are you thinking? I wouldn't go near a divine tone. Or any so-called miracle. And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of me. Yeah, these aren't your standard Don't miracles. Don't torture me, sir. Ah, oh, you. How could you? I told you I'm a bad, bad man. Oh. I know. I know. I owe my life to you. Fine, then. But just this once, I will tell you this tale. But do understand, it will be my first time. I'll have no sniggering should I err. It's fine. And then give her oh. the other one. Oh, I know. Fine. I'll she just says the same thing over again. But now I can get... Dark sorceries, dark pyromancies. In particular, black fire orb is just brutal. Dark blade, which is a miracle that allows you to put dark on your primary weapon, except mine already does. Oh, that's right. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to Irithyll. 
I gotta go do that. Interesting. Okay. Because I need to go get Doria's gnawing. Uh, that's a nasty miracle. Alright, but I'm gonna buy Black Fire Orb. Because Don't when you need dependable dark damage, it is You're the go to. Don't forget. Alright. Speaking of which, before I forget. So first we're gonna go over here. Since we're not doing PvP, we're going to trade this in for the Black Fire Orb. We're going to burn this undead bone shard. And then we're actually going to go back to the Church of Yorshka so that I can go get Dory's gnawing whilst I'm still thinking about it. Because that spell is just nasty. I don't think this opens from this side. No, it opens from the other side. That's okay. I know how to get back over there. Yeah, I need to push up my stats a little bit because I'm mostly three hitting things, but if they were a little bit higher, I'd be two hitting instead. That was pretty good. I know, that's what I'm saying. If I could push it up a little bit higher, I'd be two hitting instead of three hitting. Okay, um, how much do I care about opening that door? I don't really. So we're going to go back to Profane Capital. Yeah, I got lucky. One of those hits really should have killed, should have, should have damaged me, but she, uh, she swung during my, uh, my iframes, so. Yeah, 
up by me. Okay. So we're going to put our caster ring back on. I love how they gave us more ca how they gave us more ring slots and it's still not enough. A lot of damage. All right, come here, you. Yeah, Black Fire Orb is really do putting a hurting on these guys. All right, Rusty Coin. <laughs> Poor gargoyle. It's like, I can't get down there. Jeez. Bye-bye. Okay. Yorm, which I'm not going into. Hi there. Have some dark fire. Crap. Yeah, that's not going to help you, dude. Half of 300 fire damage is still more than you can, or dark damage is still more than you can take. Yeah. Well, shit. Ah, come on. Yeah, that clumsy stab attempt. Mine's not so clumsy. Also, I have a 100% block shield, so you can buzz off. Huh, I could have sworn there was something over here. Oh well. Live and learn. Yeah, that dark fireball is very powerful and... Well, yeah, but the stairs over here, so, since you just, since you came down the, the same way I did. By the way, notice that these, these mounds here, these are all piles of scorched corpses. Look at, look at how many of them there are. But basically, this whole thing just leads back over to the bridge where the gargoyle is. I mean, there's Soul of a Weary Warrior, but... Yeah, this is the way you're supposed to come. But we never go the way there's that you're supposed to come. I would like your attention, please. 
May I have your attention, please? <laughs> Come here. Yes, please. Try doing that messy immolation on me. See how well it works. Come get some. And then a quick swipe and you're done. The two greatest warriors are patience and time. Part of the reason I'm not running over there is because I don't want to get swarmed, but also I know that there's another gargoyle. If you look carefully, you can just barely see the edge of his spear over there. Mage Dagger. Alright, here, let me show you. See? Gargoyle. Last thing you want is to fight that and a bunch of them. Come here. I haven't finished with you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to shoot her a second time, or else she'll lose interest. Okay, almost got them cleared out, and then I can take on the gargoyle. Oh, no, I sufficiently got her aggro.
Okay. Ah, oh, you! Bleeping bleepity bleep. Good night. Ooh, sweet. Gargoyle Flame Spear. If only that mattered at all. Now, there are three chests over here, and you can't see the chain of any of them. So I have a very simple answer for this. Actually, I know for a fact that at least two of them are mimics. Okay, that one's fine. An ember. Yep. Well, because the regular chest won't get poisoned. But mimics will. I gotta tell you, the storyteller staff, not that great for casting spells, but just the ability to poison everything has so much utility. Truly the most efficient way to deal with these guys. Not the fastest, but definitely the most efficient. Hey look, synchronized dying. As I recall, they don't even have anything good in them. Oh, great shield of glory and two rusted gold coins. Some builds would find the Great Shield of Glory useful. I'm not one of them. All right, so we're going to bone out of here because the only thing left to do here would be to fight Yorm, and that's going to wait. A new Olympic competition! Synchronized dying! Yes, exactly. All right. Our call... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm off by like 400 souls. Alright, fine. Well, no, I got things to sell. I'm just like, really? Like 400 souls? That's it? Yeah, I'll sell all of these, which will get me more than enough. Ashen one, be sure. Welcome home, speak very well. Then touch take mark. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's a 24 that I get my next slot. Okay, cool. And then after this, I think I need to bring up my uh, 
my vigor to at least 20. Ooh, I need to bring up my endurance too. So many things. I keep wanting to push up my uh, my damage abilities, but all right. Since we're offline anyway, and since this is an area we're not going to want to do, as much as I love you, son, I don't think either of us wants to do the area right outside of Pontiff co-op because that's just asking for. That's just asking for trouble. So, I'm going to see about working my way up to Ann Orlando. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. That reminds me, there's a crystal lizard back where that giant was that I need to go get. Oh, dang. I should have. Well, one thing at a time. I mean, not that I really need Twinkling Titanite, but yeah. Ooh, large Titanite shards. That's good. All right. It's fine. I guess there's a difference between the no-hitters and the speedrunners. Because I see speedrunners doing the quit-out all the time. Because they want to avoid the, the long animations of some doors open. Stone plate. So, we unlock this. Which is probably the silliest shortcut, but, you know, it is what it is. There's another crystal lizard over there. Another simple gem. Sweet. Let's see, okay, that's the exit. Nothing over here.
Hey, look, a chest. And it must be excited to see me because this chain is pointing at me. All right, no problem. Let's see here. Liches like the Farron Keep Skip, which use death cams to keep the environment and enemies from loading. Oh, it's it's not that complicated. In fact, while we're waiting for that thing to die. Basically, this is just up in the rafters of Pontiff. Instead of going over there, which is where there was a crystal lizard, you just go across and over to here. Okay. Well, I'll retrace it as soon as the we're done killing the mimic. I don't think it's anything special or super secret, but Yeah, I don't think I'd ever end up being a speedrunner, mostly because I use too many tricks that are great for sustaining, but... Well, I'll be perfectly honest with you, it wouldn't surprise me to discover a lot of speedrunners or no-hitters don't bother coming this way. Because the item in that ch in that mimic isn't really worth having. I've just came up here because you know completionist. Yeah. So basically, how you get up here is. You go down under the bridge here, and instead of going back into that corner over there, where you're, I got the dark stone plate ring, you come around and you run up here, and then there's a bunch of Pontiff's goons throwing fire at you. So... Yeah, a lot of Dark Souls seems to run around the principle of put the thing behind where the player is so the player doesn't look that way.
Oh, that was staring death right in the face, because if he'd hit me with that, I was done. But yeah, in particular, that giant that's right there, if you if you hit him with a hard enough attack, it opens him up to a uh, visceral hit. And he's worth a good chunk of experience. You freaking deuce can you stop? Have an So we're going to put our shield back on. Oh. Nice. And since I'm invulnerable during visceral attacks, yeah, if you know how to hit the giants, you can basically one-shot them. Technically, it's two, but basically, it's one-shot them. I love how the tree, this little bush right here, ah, can block fireballs. I need to come back here anyway because I need to attune a spell. Oh, and hey, I got a slot for it, too. Hidden body. All right. We're going to equip this. Let's see here. Now we're going to equip this. Um,
We're going to equip this for now. Oh, right. Helps if I use the right thing. Now I don't make any noise, and they can't see me from a distance. So until the spell runs out, they are not going to attack me until I get close. Or the spell runs out. Cast it again. Roll. Keep running. All right. So there's there's a thing down here, and well, I'll I'll go I'll go show it, but we're not we're not going to deal with it right now. Yes, the the doggo get very excited about something. I'm not sure what. Okay, so one giant terrifying doggo. Two giant terrifying doggo. We are not taking care of that action right now. We will eventually, but not right now. Yes. I'm not taking those guys on until I have my absolute most powerful spells. Now, if you do it very, very carefully... You can pull one of them and not the other, but you have a very small area to fight in. Now, I have successfully killed them on other characters, but I want my most powerful fire spells before I have at them. Alright, so we're going to swap out the, the silent ring for the fall ring. And then we're making our way up to An Orlando, which means we get everybody's favorite mechanic. Freaking archers. Easterner's ashes, very important. This guy's the fucking worst. No! Oh, God. I got so lucky there. That should have killed me. Oh, man. That should have killed me. Okay. So I'm a big, big fan of just running here. Okay, good. That guy didn't follow me. Brass. Okay, probably because we haven't talked to Henri again yet. And now for the most useless ring in the game. The reversal ring. What does it do? It changes the way your character walks. No, I'm not kidding. Well, being nigh invisible... Oh, yeah, you mean... Yes, I was I was faster on the... Uh, 
the attack than than the other guy. Also, being nigh invisible helps run past those guys. But yeah, no. <laughs> All right. An ember, and then another one of everyone's favorite mechanics. Really? I didn't know that was a thing. Also, it doesn't help with the archers because they can see you coming. At least I wouldn't think it would help. So this is an Orlando. We're going to sit. We're going to rest. And then we're going to go do a thing. Because there's another one of everyone's favorite mechanics. And yes, I'm aware I have like 20,000, almost 30,000 souls, but I'm okay. Interesting. Okay. Yep, invisible bridge. Oh no, what? Mm -hmm. Nightbot, you and I need to have a word. Second year. It, it's on high scrutiny right now, and it probably shouldn't be, but it is. I need to go through. You were you were the second person I've had who has been. Has had problems with the Nightbot settings. All right, so. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? Well, one of the main reasons I do keep Nightbot on is because since I'm a very small stream, I. I just occasionally get somebody popping in and trying to spam one of those links where, you know, you can buy viewers. Thou thinks too. Very well. Captain to this nightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. Thou journeyed far. Yeah. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Thou art now a blade of the dark moon, the only knight of our company. 
Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. So that's how you unlock the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. Also, she's like, this nightless company. And I'm just like, there's, at the very least, in game, there's Sirius, or Sirius, who, if she's not a Blade of the Dark Moon, I will be shocked. And then, let's see, how do we... By the way, going and talking to Yorshka, something you're definitely going to want to do, son, this whole trip down, you could probably afford to skip. Because there's nothing down here you will really want. But, part of the reason why I came all the way down here... You were wondering what was up those stairs. Yeah. There's a reason why it's called the Church of Yorshka. She's at the top. I'm going to go back to Firelink real quick. Yes! Actually, let me... Well, Farfignigan, maybe I shouldn't have come back here. Okay, we're going to go back to... Anna Orlando. Yeah, the, the place is very linear up to a certain point, but then you really do start to get into some of the interconnectivity. All right. Uh, since we're not going to be doing any falling, we're going to sub this out for the, uh, the silence ring. Actually, we're going to take this off for the moment. Put our shield back on. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Let's see here. Um, do, 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 do.
Okay. Cool. Glad you're back. Alright, so. This is where normally if we were online there would be messages like sadness ahead. Because... The obligatory <coughs> all right and the giant's coal which is the last coal in the game that's now all of them that we have well I have I'm pretty sure you missed the profane coal son but then again you need neither the giant's coal nor the profane coal so They allow, um, well, all of the coals allow Andre to do more specialized smithing. Um, I'll Let's see here. Hang on one second. Let me get down here. By the way, all of this may look really familiar too. file run over here spider dude I wonder if he takes more damage from dark ah, stand still Looks like fire is the choice. Oh, I should. I got the Aldrich Ruby, which is nice. Oh. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good firebomb, but that's okay. All right, now I get to run down the stairs. Oh, come here. back to Firelink Shrine. First time I saw someone do the Giant Smith area was after... Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's... Okay. So... I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna talk yeah, to what needs. So we'll do painting guardians as an example. So the uh, the profane gem, if I remember correctly, gives well it gives dark, I know for sure, and then bleed and I believe hollow as options that you can the profane coal gives those as options, right? Um, the Sage's Coal gives Crystal, um, 
blessed and poison as options and then watch what gets added when i give the giant's coal my my the coal of that peaceable giant seems like ages past i imagine his passing was long ago i miss the old bug of writer my thanks i'll be sure this coal is put to good use I'll be smithing weapons never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> so then we go to infuse, and now we've got chaos, which I also, which is a uh, also very good for pyro builds. I'm gonna make one of those as well. Lightning. And, uh, oh yeah, and simple. Um, and, yes. So, in particular, um, blessed, blessed items? Yes. So, bl I'm going to explain that in a second. So, blessed items, either weapons or shields... Um, they passively restore a certain amount of HP, and at least on weapons, they give you faith scaling. So if you're doing a straight faith build, um, Blessed is good for that, so is Lightning. <coughs> Crystal adds magic damage and adds intelligence scaling. Um, Simple also adds, uh magic damage and some intelligence scaling but the other advantage that it has is it gives you passive focus regeneration so it, so it goes like this these are the intelligence weapons um these are the faith weapons and then these two dark and Dark and Chaos are the Pyromancer weapons. And then you have some of the various other ones as well. Uh, blood gems add bleeding to a weapon or increase the bleeding scaling, but bleed got nerfed not long after launch. So, and then Hollow Gem, uh, you get bonuses based off of, I think it's your luck and your hollowing level. Um, I've never actually futzed around with a hollow build. Um, but you want to you want a strength build. So the first gem that you get, which is the Farron, or excuse me, the first coal that you get, which is the Farron coal, adds uh, heavy and sharp to the kinds of uh, smithing you can do. And, I mean... You, you want heavy, so the rest of this is, is interesting when you get to start playing other builds, but ultimately, you already got the thing that you need. You need heavy, so. Yeah, I know a lot of random stuff. About, I, well, not random. I know a lot of stuff about this game because I spent a lot of time reading up and and watching you know people play and stuff what about the different kinds of infusions and why they're there Yeah, they really a lot more than Dark Souls One. I mean, Dark Souls One was okay, was pretty good about this sort of thing, but Dark Souls Three they really tried to make it so that no matter what kind of special, no matter what kind of character you're building, you can have a weapon that makes sense for that build. And they tried to make a lot of the like sorcery builds 
can be ridiculously powerful in Dark Souls 1, but because you're limited to a certain number of casts of any given spell, it is fundamentally limiting. Um, they tried to make that a lot better in Dark Souls 3 by giving us focus, but honestly, they should have given us more passive focus regen. Speaking of passive focus regen, I am going to put simple on my case this over here and that is going to make it so that while I'm wearing it it passively regenerates focus which I'm going to use a lot yeah so yeah well, I mean, so first you infuse a gem with a particular thing, whether it's heavy or sharp or dark or whatever it is for your build, and then you add, and then you upgrade it by reinforcing it. But yeah, they're, they're two related but separate things. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome home, Lashen. Speak thy heart. Very well. Then touch the dark. Take nourishment. That is correct. You can... Not only can you infuse at any point along the upgrade path, but you can... As long as you have the gems for it, you can swap straight from one infusion to another. Which is one of the reasons why I think... The, the Scrivening Stone, which removes an infusion from a weapon, is one of the silliest items in this whole game. I don't even understand why it's there. Alright, so do I do Vigor or do I do Faith? Because it is starting to get to the point where they're, they're zodding me pretty hard. Um... I'm going to do Faith. I just... I want to. Farewell, Ashen One. May I have no idea. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Alright. Uh, I really need to, to have a conversation with... All right. Well, actually, so I'm not only am I caught up, but I'm actually kind of ahead. Um, well, I need to I need to futz with Nightbot. Um, but since I'm kind of ahead and. Well, yeah, and really, honestly, the run up to. And Orlando is one of the shortest areas in the game because literally at the end of the hallway that we just opened the, I just opened the giant door for and killed the big spider thing. At the end of the other end of that hallway is the Aldrich fight. It's a really short area. So. And then once we do, do that, we get teleported to the dancer fight but unless we decide we want to go and do demon runs but that's a conversation for another evening um yeah if you well okay so we're assuming we do yorm because that's the next thing on the agenda is yorm right and then if you kill Aldridge, you get cutscened back to Lothric Castle to where the old lady is, and she's dying for some reason. And, you know, then from there you can trigger the dancer fight. But yeah, it, it cutscenes you right over there.
instead of making you go, wait, what? Ugh. All of that said, I do have some things I want to grind for, but since grinding doesn't make for interesting viewing, Since grinding doesn't make for interesting viewing, I'm going to go ahead and call the stream here, plus I need to go get lunch. Um, but thank you very much for joining me, son. And I may talk to you about how to adjust the settings on my Nightbot, because Nightbot is... Uh, <laughs> Nightbot is being a bit of a pain in my butt. And since it's supposed to be there to help me. In any case, I look forward to playing with you tomorrow, son. And as for anybody else who's watching, I, uh... Oh, actually, now that I think about it, let's see. Are any of my friends on? Um, not anybody who's playing anything similar. Alright, so I'm going to call the stream here. I'll catch up with you later. Sun, and for anybody else who's watching, have a good day and uh, get some rest. There's a lot of stress out there.